does foam rolling and stretching help with IT band syndrome? That's the question we're going to be answering today. So to start, what is the IT band? The IT band is a thick piece of connective tissue that starts in the hip, runs down the outside of the thigh, and attaches to the outside of the knee. IT band syndrome is something that happens when the IT band puts too much compressive force on the tissues on the outside of the knee, resulting in pain. IT band syndrome is one of the most common causes of lateral knee pain in runners, but we don't just see it in runners, we see it in lots of active people, people who walk a lot or participate in sports that involve a lot of running. This issue typically arises from doing too much too quickly, increasing your running mileage or intensity too rapidly, or from faulty mechanics that put excessive stress on the outside of the knee. The discomfort people feel from IT band syndrome typically feels like pain, tightness, or stiffness. When people feel those symptoms, they typically want to stretch or reach for something like this, a foam roller or a massage gun. But do these things actually work for fixing IT band syndrome? The research says, not really. A recent study found that those with IT band syndrome and those without have no difference in their IT band stiffness. Uh, as far as stretching goes, they've taken cadavers and they've tried to stretch the IT bands to their maximum capacity and they've only found that the IT band lengthens by 0.02%. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to waste my time with 0.02%. Foam rolling directly over the IT band has not been shown to be helpful either. Since IT band syndrome is a compressive type injury, putting more compression on the IT band might make it worse. Now, an argument could be made for rolling or loosening up the muscles that attach into the IT band. Those are the glute max, your big butt muscle right here, and then your TFL, the muscle that sits in the front of the pocket here. Now, using a foam roller on the glute max can help. It can help temporarily reduce soreness. So if you find benefit with that, go for it. It's probably not going to hurt. Is it going to be the ultimate fix? Probably not. But if you want to do it, here's how. You're going to put the foam roller on the floor. If you want to roll your right side, you're going to put your right butt cheek, your right hip on the roller. Then you're going to cross your right leg over your left, and you're simply going to roll back and forth over that muscle. You can spend about 30 to 60 seconds doing this. The TFL is a little harder muscle to hit with the foam roller. You can certainly try. I find using a more targeted approach like the massage gun or a lacrosse ball can uh, work just a little bit better. So what you're going to do is make sure you're seated with the leg that you want to work on totally relaxed. Then you're going to take that massage gun, put it right in the soft area, kind of right where your front pocket would be. And then you can rotate your leg back and forth back and forth as you work through that muscle. Again, about 30 to 60 seconds with this. So take home message, is stretching going to help you with your IT band syndrome? No, it's, it's really not. Don't waste your time with it. Is rolling going to help you with it? It's probably not going to be the make or break, but if you like foam rolling, if you feel like it helps loosen things up in the hip, it's certainly not going to hurt.